Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can share a USB stick or a hard drive over your home Wi-Fi network. This is a quick and cheap way to create a basic file server that can be accessed by multiple users or devices over your Wi-Fi network. The approach in this video will require a Wi-Fi router with a USB port somewhere around it. There are several of them out there. I will leave links to some common ones down in the video description. This approach would work even if you have no internet connection on your router. And for the USB device, you could use just about any kind of USB storage device. However, for faster and more effective access to your files, I recommend either a USB or a micro SD card with fast read write speed, or even an SSD for higher capacity. Now, using a mechanical hard drive could lead to slow file access and it might not be able to get enough power to run effectively. In any case, this is a pretty straightforward process and requires little or no technical skills, so let's get down to it. Okay, so first you will need the access credentials for your router settings and configurations. This could be an IP address or some URL. There are three possible ways to get these access credentials. One way would be to check the label underneath your router or somewhere in the instruction manual. These credentials would work only if you still have your router on the default settings or if you just reset your router. So if you already assigned some other IP address to your router, then this default IP or URL wouldn't work. If you have forgotten the IP address you assigned to your router, then one quick solution would be to reset it and afterwards, you can then use the default IP address to access your router settings. The second approach would be to check online from the router manufacturer support page or simply searching on Google using the router model. So for this router, I will open Google and search default IP address for D-Link DSR-250N. And right on top of the search results, it shows that the default IP address is 192.168.10.1. Here it also gives the default username which is admin and the default password which is also admin. The third way to get this IP address is from your command line terminal. For that, you first connect your PC to the router, either through Wi-Fi or LAN. Then go to your search and type CMD. Click on the CMD from the search results. On the command line terminal, type in IP config as shown on the screen and hit enter. Then scroll down and check for where it says wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi if you are connected through Wi-Fi. And then on the line where you have the default gateway, you should see the current IP address of your router. This however doesn't give you the default username and password, so you still need to obtain that using either method 1 or 2. So here I assume you have the IP address and the login credentials for your Wi-Fi router. Now go ahead and attach the USB storage device where you have the files you intend to share on your Wi-Fi. Then open your browser and enter the IP address of your router. Mine is 192.168.10.1. Then hit enter. Now if you see a security warning page like this, click on advanced. And then go down to where it says proceed to 192.168.10.1 and click on it. And then you should have this login page here. Type in the router username and password to log in. Mine is admin admin. Now on this page, you will see a bunch of settings for your router. Yours may look different from mine depending on the manufacturer and model of your router. However, the concept is quite similar. Here I will look for the settings related to my USB device. So I will click on the setup tab. Then on this left pane, I will look for where it says USB settings. Point to it and select USB status. And on this page, as you can see, it shows that I have a SanDisk USB storage device attached to my router. It also shows the mount status here. In short, it says mounted on yours. Otherwise, you won't be able to access your USB device. Now go back to the USB settings and select USB share port. On this page, under USB storage, select Enable Sharing. And then under Sharing Enabled Interfaces, select Enable Storage. Again, your settings might be a bit different from mine, but you should be able to find some related settings on your page. Now with both options selected, go back up and click on Save Settings. 
and here it says operation succeeded meaning my usb storage is now being shared with all users connected to this router either through lan or wi-fi connection now to access the files on the shared usb go to your windows search and type run then click on run from the search results on the run terminal type in the ip address of your router and hit enter Then you should have a folder like this pop up and when you double click on this disk one, you should have access to all the files and folders in the USB attached to your router. Now if for some reason you encounter an error saying you can't connect to the file share because it's not secure, this share requires obsolete SMB protocol and all that. Then you should check out this video I uploaded recently, I showed a step by step instruction on how to resolve this problem. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.